Hi everyone, welcome to the Celebrity Diaries. Anthony Hamilton, a prestigious American performer and record maker, gloats a total assets of $9 million, starting from Charlotte, North Carolina. His excursion in the music industry has been one of flexibility and inevitable victory, at first endorsed with Uptown Records. A division of MCA Records Hamilton's presentation studio collection XTC was scheduled for discharge in 1996 anyway. In spite of his ability, the collection confronted mishaps, eventually rack because of the underperformance of its singles. Hamilton's advancement came with his visitor execution on Nappy Roots' 2002 hit single Poe People, which took off to number 21 on the announcement Hot 100. This achievement grabbed the eye of Jermaine DPRI's not really good or bad hard of hearing accounts, prompting Hamilton's marking with the name of his subsequent collection, coming from where I'm from in 2003, turned into a vital second in his vocation guaranteed platinum by the recording industry. Relationship of America, Rhea the collection gathered four Grammy grant assignments. The track Charlene delivered in 2004 further set his place in the business, topping at number 19 on the outlines. Hamilton's ensuing collections aren't everyone stressing. 2005 and The Mark, all things considered, 2008 proceeded with his up direction, both arriving at the top 20 of the announcement 200 and accomplishing gold accreditation by the Rea, progressing to RCA Records. Hamilton delivered his fifth and sixth collections back to a door. 2011 and What I'm Feeling in 2016 further displaying his adaptability and fortitude in the industry. His honors stretch out past collection deals and graph accomplishments with 12 Grammy Grant designations added to his repertoire. Hamilton's ability has been perceived on the most noteworthy stages. Strikingly, his commitment to the soundtrack of the 2012 film Django Unchained with the Melody. Opportunity highlighting Elena help remains a demonstration of his capacity to rise above classes and convey strong soul-mixing music. Anthony Cornelius Hamilton brought into the world on January 28, the 1971, in Charlotte, North Carolina, left on his melodic excursion from the seats of his church ensemble at the youthful age of 17. His early enthusiasm for music bloomed during his time at South Mecklenburg High School, where he got comfortable with himself as part of the regarded ensemble under the direction of Chief Imprint Zur, acquiring honors for their exhibitions in 1992. Hamilton's way took an urgent turn when he ran into maker imprint sparkles supported by flashes. Hamilton gone with the intense choice to leave his old neighborhood and dare to New York City, where open doors looked for it. It was in the clamoring city that Hamilton's ability grabbed the eye of Andre Harrell's Uptown Records, denoting his passage into the music business. A characterizing second in Hamilton's profession came in 1999, at the point when he co-composed the hit single You Know What's Up for R&B artist Donald Jones. This coordinated effort not just displayed Hamilton's songwriting ability, yet additionally indicated his true capacity for standard achievement. Hamilton's flexibility as an entertainer was additionally featured in 2000 when he joined soul sensation D'Angelo's global visit as a reinforcement artist, adding to the advancement of D'Angelo's acclaimed collection voodoo statement Dab Anyway. It was Hamilton's cooperation with Nappy Roots on their 2002 single Poe People that shot him into the spotlight. His heartfelt version of the choral acquired boundless praise, procuring the track a Grammy Grant assignment for remarkable rap-hung cooperation. This openness presented Hamilton to a more extensive crowd, solidifying his status as a rising star in the music industry. The cooperative energy between Hamilton and, what's more, Nappy Roots went on with ensuing coordinated efforts on melodies like Weary Push On and Natural from Nappy Roots collections, exhibiting their consistent melodic science and further growing his collection. Hamilton loaned his vocals to Chuck Ronson's 2003 track Country Stain, exhibiting his capacity to rise above kinds and team up with various specialists. Hamilton's cooperative soul kept on sparkling as he joined powers with Jadis on the 2004 hit single Y, which took off to number 11 on the board Hot 100. This joint effort procured him a Grammy Grant selection for Best Rap. Sue's joint effort further hardened his standing as a flexible and gifted craftsman in 2005. Hamilton delivered his most memorable accumulation collection, Life, highlighting melodies recorded during his initial vocation. This aggregation offered fans a brief look into Hamilton's creative advancement, exhibiting his crude ability and melodic variety. His third studio collection, Ain't Who was delivered in December 2005, 
got broad approval and accomplished gold affirmation by the recording business. Relationship of America, Rhea the Collection's prosperity set Hamilton's situation as a conspicuous figure in the ER&B and soul music scene, Hamilton's effect reached out past the domain of music grants as he was respected with the bed J. Cool, like that grant at the 2006 bed. Grants furthermore, his appearance as a melodic visitor on Dave Chappell's notable Chappelle show additionally raised his profile, presenting his ability to a more extensive crowd all through his vocation. Hamilton kept on working together with regarded craftsmen and adding to eminent projects from visitor exhibitions on TV programs like Uppin's Alvis to heartfelt appearances in films like American Criminal Hamilton's presence in mainstream society stayed unmistakable in 2011. Hamilton's coordinated effort with Jill Scott on the single So Enamored caught the hearts of audience members, spending a noteworthy 19 weeks at number one on the Metropolitan Grown-Up Contemporary Diagram. His adaptability as a craftsman was further displayed in 2012, with visitor appearances on collections by large critics and NS both of which accomplished basic and business achievement. One of Hamilton's generally critical commitments accompanied his exhibition of the tune. Opportunity close by soul artist, Elena Bond, for Quentin Tarantino's film D. Django undisgraced this strong two-part harmony, enraptured crowds, and procured inescapable recognition solidifying Hamilton's heritage as a profound and impactful entertainer in February 2015, Hamilton graced the little screen with a visitor appearance on the hit TV series. Realm, his profound interpretation of the point of everything during a crucial second in the show caught the hearts of viewers, exhibiting his capacity to convey feeling through his music following his TV appearance. Hamilton's melodic venture accepted him higher than ever as he teamed up with Tedra Moses on the tune that won the lead single from her profoundly expected second collection, Connick. Also, in discussion, his particular vocals added profundity and soul to the track further laying out his standing as a sought-after associate in the industry. Hamilton's renowned lifetime arrived at a zenith second in February 2016, when he had the pleasure of performing at the last in a presentation at the White House, show facilitated by President Barack Obama and First Woman Michelle, his genuine recognition for incredible vocalist beam. Charles enraptured the crowd, displaying Hamilton's capacity to order the stage with his spirit-mixing exhibitions, proceeding with his melodic venture. Hamilton delivered his sixth Theo collection. What I'm feeling in spring 2016 is portrayed as a profound scrub, the collection dove into Hamilton's individual battles and wins with TR tracks, highlighting striking performers such as Gary Clark Jr. and Vince Gill working together with foundation artists Hamiltones. Hamilton implanted deep hip bounce components into his music, making an exceptional and spellbinding sound in a key organization with wafer barrel old feed market. Hamilton delivered a luxurious version of what I'm feeling growing his compass to a more extensive crowd. His cozy exhibition on NPR's minuscule work area shows got basic recognition, further hardening his notoriety as a stalwart entertainer with heartfelt versions of singles like So Be It and Charlene Hamilton's joint efforts stretched out past the domain of Rambi and Soul as he loaned his vocals to Chris Brown's Legends remix of his single Back to Rest in April 2016. Soon thereafter, Hamilton set out on a cross-country visit with individual R&B sensation Capriccio, enthralling crowds with their charging exhibitions in 2017. Hamilton's melodic ability was once again in plain view as he co-played out the Melody Festival for the virtual band Gorillaz on their collection People. His consistent mix into the varied soundscape of the collection exhibited his flexibility as a craftsman. Hamilton's melodic excursion proceeds to develop with the arrival of his single Back Together, highlighting Rick James in May 2020 denoting the lead single from his seventh collection, Love. The latest trend dark delivered in September 2021, as Hamilton's profession proceeds to flourish with his deep voice and real narrating resound with crowds overall cementing his inheritance as one of the most persuasive voices in contemporary music. Lovely people, this may be the part we're most looking forward to. Now we take you on a visit through his selective homes manor in Waxa. Carolina Anthony Hamilton, the prestigious performer, dwells in a staggering chateau settled in the curious town of Waxall. This stunning house flaunts extravagance, what's more, solace, highlighting five rooms and four washrooms spread across an extensive 51 square foot. 